Today, Facebook launched their new Facebook Live 360 video feature. And it's a compliment to their original Facebook Live that they keep pushing on us by allowing you to not only do Facebook Live and live stream wherever you are, but live stream in 360. Now, this is kind of cool, I think, because it does allow you to almost transport your Facebook friends to wherever you are uh, and they can use their phone to kind of scroll around and see everything around them as if they're there and if they have a VR headset of course this effect is even more pronounced. Also it's not that hard to do. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you really quick how you guys can do Facebook Live 360 video using an iPhone. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Insta360 Nano camera as they're one of the launch partners with Facebook doing this. And if you have an iPhone, it's super easy to use. It shoots decent video for live streaming and is one of the less expensive options out there. To get started, simply plug in the Nano into the bottom of your iPhone. The green light will turn on and it'll prompt you to automatically install the associated app, which you can then do. Once you've done that, you can open the app and tap on the camera icon at the bottom right to launch the 360 camera. Then we can tap on the live icon underneath the camera screen. Then we'll tap the Facebook live icon that appears to the right of the shutter button after that. And we can tap on Facebook account. And this will bring up two options that you have to tap and log in with Facebook on both of them, by the way, which will then link your Facebook account to the app and you'll be able to use live. Once you've authorized both options, we can tap completed and we'll see our account listed. You can then tap on share to to select who you want to share the live video with, including your page, different options for your personal account, as well as groups that you're a part of. Quick tip, uh, when you are testing this out, be sure to select only me in the options of share to, so that way you don't send out those push notifications and annoy all of your friends with your testing one twos and shaky trying to figure out how to use the camera. Then before you go live, you have the option of adjusting the bitrate from one up to six with four megabits per second being the recommended setting. And then we can tap the big red live button and it'll take a second to connect and then take a bit after that to notify people that you are live via push notifications, etc. You can then scroll around on the screen as well to see the full 360 degree view of what your friends are actually seeing. When you're all done, Tap the big button again and it'll give you a summary of the live video and Facebook will now save it for people to watch after the fact on your profile or page. That's it. Now, keep in mind normal 360 video rules apply when you're doing this. Uh, in other words, don't like tilt it at a weird angle because you gotta remember like they're looking at it like this and if you tilt it like this, it feels super awkward. And also don't move it a lot or you might have some very nauseous and angry friends. And there you go. Uh, quick little tutorial on how to use Facebook 360 Live on an iPhone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this video, of the tutorial of Facebook Live 360, whether you use it or not. Let me know. Always love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please click on my face that's floating around to be taken to my channel. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.